Hey, Killer Bees, it's Paula B from PaulaBeeFitness.com where we always have fun workouts and friendly encouragement. And you guys, on tap today, I've got a great seated slim down for us with plenty of cardio, plenty of strength, and absolutely no equipment needed. Make sure you get warmed up, and when you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. All right, you guys, let's get moving and grooving. Go ahead and come all the way up to the edge of your seat. Now here's the dealio. We're gonna get started with a little bit of cardio hit work. That means high intensity interval training. And my intervals are 20 seconds of work with just 10 seconds of rest. But I promise this one's gonna move along quickly. We're gonna go ahead and get started with 20 seconds of rainbow jacks. That's where your hands are moving over your head like a rainbow from side to side, bringing up one knee on one side and the other knee on the other. Let's go ahead and get going. So nice and quick with those hands. Our 20 second interval today, not a super long time, so I'd love for you to see just how quickly you can move. It doesn't have to be the exact same pace as me, but moving quickly for you means that you're getting your heart rate up. Great job, nice and fast and 10 seconds of rest. Like I promised, this is gonna move quickly. Coming up next is toy soldiers. Both hands up straight overhead. We're gonna reach our opposite hand towards our opposite kicky foot. Now, I call it a kicky foot, but you know what? There's really almost no power behind it at all. It's much more about moving your hands and feet quickly, engaging your core, really pulling that belly button to your spine, and moving fast. Our cardio work today is all about quick movements. Big with your hands, ha, and 10 seconds of rest coming up next. We're gonna do a reach across, which is exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna reach your left hand across to the right while your left leg kicks out, and then the opposite, on the opposite side. So reaching that hand across while kicking your leg out down at the bottom, nice and fast, really engaging that core, especially when we reach side to side like this. You know, and I say especially, but the fact is, I'd love for you to engage your core every time we move anyway. <laughs> 10 seconds of rest and coming up next is windmills. We're gonna have our feet nice and wide, our hands up nice and wide. Again, reaching your opposite hand towards your opposite well, I'm gonna call it a foot, but you know what? I can't reach my foot, so towards your opposite leg. If you could get your shin, your knee, your thigh, somewhere across your body, really thinking about engaging those abs, squeezing from the middle and twisting slightly while moving quickly. Excellent job, 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're gonna do something I call rope climbers. Don't worry, we're not really trying to climb a rope. We're just pretending. So we're gonna move our hands and our feet as quickly as possible. Hands going up and down as though you're pulling a rope and feet moving in more or less the same time. It's a little bit coordinated for me, but you know, I do my best moving at the same approximate time, looking like we're climbing a rope, which is much easier to look like than to do. 10 seconds of rest and coming up next is my favorite, double knees. We're gonna have both hands up over the overhead. We're gonna reach our hands down towards our knee while our knee comes towards our hand two times times in a row on one side and then two times in a row on the other. Doing a little bit of rocking back and forth on our hips here, sitting on one booty at a time and then moving to the other side nice and fast. Now this is the last of our cardio exercises for this round, which means that I'm going to go ahead ah, and turn the timer off for right now. Don't you worry, we're going to come back to time to work, but now we're going to bring it down a little bit and do some good full body strength. We're we're gonna get started with my favorite. It's called IYW because we're forming the letter I with hands straight up overhead. The letter Y, really pulling those shoulder blades back and down and then bending your elbows and really squeezing from the upper back. Coming right back up into the letter I. First one's done and we're gonna do 10 of them. Y and W. Really thinking about squeezing and engaging your middle and upper back. And W. Excellent job. I, Y, and W. Four of them done. Very nice. There's really no resting position here. We're thinking about engaging our core, engaging our upper back and neck muscles the whole time. Six of them done. Squeeze up to the letter I and Y and W. There's seven. Just a couple more. Really feeling that in my shoulders. 
This is a shoulder strengthener. We're going to strengthen our whole body from a seated position today. There's the letter Y. There's a W. That's nine of them done. Last one, I and Y and W for 10. Excellent. Whew, go ahead and kind of roll out those shoulders a little bit. Coming up next is a knee straightener, which is actually a knee strengthener. Having your hips all the way forward on that chair, I go ahead and just put my hands on my hips here. We're going to straighten one leg. And when I say straighten, what I mean is you're going to engage your quadriceps muscles and bring that foot out as far as you can. I'm not getting my leg completely straight. What I'm aiming for though is to feel it in your thighs and then release. Doing a little bit of squeeze and release of those thigh muscles, weirdly, is the best thing that you can do for your knee. Now, if you do have rough knees, tough knees, trick knees, knees that have given you problem, you might find it easier to simply straighten with your leg lower down towards the ground, keeping your foot just hovering off the ground, and that's totally okay. Wherever you can get your leg to, as long as you can feel the squeeze in the tops of your thighs, you're strengthening your knee joints by strengthening the muscles around them. And you guys, We've already done six of these. Let's go ahead and do just a couple more. Squeeze and straighten and squeeze and straighten. Seven of them done. Excellent job. Really thinking about squeezing and targeting those thigh muscles while also, I know you noticed, pulling in your core, <laughs> sitting up straight and tall. You know, it's a simple movement, but this is not easy. Thankfully, we've got nine of them done, and that means one more on each side. Right there, and down, whoo, and right there, and down. Fantastic job. Coming up next, we're going to do some cross crunches. Now, I'm scooting back just a little bit to make sure that I've got a nice firm seat on my seat. <laughs> Knees are just a little bit wider than hip width apart. Hands are on your shoulders. Going to reach your opposite elbow towards your opposite knee. And I say knee even though you're going to squeeze to wherever you can squeeze to. As long as you can feel this in your middle, in your obliques. That was one on each side. We're going to squeeze opposite side to opposite side and then switch to the other side. The real point of this exercise it's never ever about touching your elbow to your knee. It's always about squeezing and engaging the muscles that we're aiming to tone. And what that is right now is our abdominal muscles here in the middle as well as, as, well as our obliques on the side. Every time we do any kind of twisting motion, we're engaging all of those abdominal and oblique muscles. Oh, working on whittling that middle, flattening and strengthening your stomach. Awesome job. There's five of them done on each side. Ooh, getting a little bit of bonus upper body work too. Do you feel that by having your hands on your shoulders, keeping your elbows nice and high, just about shoulder height? I am totally feeling that in my upper body as well. Awesome job. There's seven of them done. Whew, take a breath in between if you need to and never forget to breathe. Even while we're squeezing and stretching like this, always making sure that you are breathing through it. That's why I talk so much. That's the secret between me talking so much during my workouts. There's eight of them done. Just two more on each side. It's a little reminder to myself, honestly, that I should always be breathing. Huh, nine of them done. Here's our last one here. Whew, and up, and last one there, and up. Excellent job. Coming up next, I'm gonna go ahead and scoot forward just a little bit because I wanna make sure that I don't hit my background here too hard. We're gonna do something I call hand openers. Go ahead and put your hands together. Just give yourself a nice little hand. Straight out in front of you at shoulder height. And then we're going to open your hands at shoulder height and squeeze, 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 squeeze as far as you can. If you can get all the way back to the wall behind you, that's awesome. <sighs> And when we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and bring them forward. I'm going to bring them down just a little bit in between each and every one. It's a little bit of a break. Otherwise, those muscles are engaged the entire time. Oh, and then they start to cramp a little bit. And forward and down. Two of them done. Great job. Up to shoulder height. Open up wide. Really feeling those angel wings pulling together in the back. And release. 
and down. Speaking of shoulder strengtheners, when we do work like this, strengthening our upper back, I know when you're squeezing, it kind of hurts a little bit, but I promise you that making those muscles stronger is the nicest thing that you can do for your shoulders and for your posture. Sitting up straight and tall, squeezing from that upper back helps those upper back muscles work better all the time. That was five of them done. And here we are, opening our hands, squeezing open, oh goodness. And closed and down, great job. I promise you are going to feel this, I know you feel it right now, but you're also gonna feel this one tomorrow. Every time I do work like this, between the IYWs and these hand openers, I always feel my upper back tomorrow. And I always think to myself, goodness, did I sleep wrong? Did I do something weird? Nope, you're just getting stronger. It's sore muscles in a good way. That was eight of them done, we just have two more. Up and open, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze without shrugging and close and down. That was nine of them done. Here's our last one. Up, hold that core in, squeeze those arms open wide and back to center and down. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now this next one, I know you're going to think about it in your upper back, but where you're going to feel it tomorrow is actually in your glutes and even in your hamstrings. I know we're working our booty while we're sitting on it. This is called good mornings. You're going to have your hands right behind your head, fingertips touching right about the middle of your skull. And you're going to really think about pulling your elbows back the entire time. Feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart. And we're going to lean forward while you're leaning forward you're thinking about keeping your back super super straight and when we straighten back up you're going to squeeze from your glutes to get back to that sitting position sitting up straight and tall with your core pulled in tight and shoulders pulled back so leaning forward engaging those glutes engaging those hamstrings and pulling back up using your abs and your butt together to get you leaned forward and pulled back up. Great job, four of them done. Really working that rear chain today. And what that means is you're gonna feel it in your shoulders, your glutes, and your hamstrings all the way down the back of your body. Because I tell you what, we do a lot of front of body work, just kind of naturally. I mean, all of our ab work, all of our lifting, every time you get groceries, every time you do anything, you're doing front of the body work. By working the back of our body also, we're making sure that we're evened out, for lack of a better way of putting it. That was seven of them done, you guys. We are almost there. Lean forward and pull up. There's eight. Making a full, strong body is really, arguably, the best thing that you can do for yourself. There's nine of them done. These exercises, here's our last one of these good mornings. They're not burning a ton of calories, but we don't need to burn a ton of calories. When we exercise, ah, oh, that was 10 of them. When we exercise, we're simply, we're getting up our endorphins, we're bringing up our heart rate, we're shaping our body, we're getting stronger. And speaking of stronger, it's our last exercise for the strength portion, and that means it's our toughest one. We're gonna do a wide leg push up. So go Go ahead and scoot back, almost all the way back to the back of your chair. Knees are wide enough that you can put your hands down in between, and we're going to push your booty off the chair and sit that booty back down, holding as much of your weight as you can in your upper body, trying not to do any load bearing on those legs at all. Oh, this is chest and shoulders and abs. There's two of them. Go ahead and come on up. We're getting a little bit of hang time here. And down, there's three. Whew, take a breath in between. These are not easy because they're not supposed to be. Push up and push back down. Ah, there's four of them done. Really making sure your abs are engaged the whole time so that we're sitting up straight and strong. Back is straight. Whew, arms and shoulders are strong. That was five of them done. We're halfway done with these. And up and hang and down. There's six, good job. And up, Ooh, 
doggies. This is tough and down. There's seven. You know what? Push-ups are never easy. Push-ups are one of the toughest exercises that we can do, whether we're seated, whether we're on our knees, whether we're on our toes. <sighs> down. Good job. Just a couple of them left. Take a breath. Here we go. Up. Very nice. That was nine, and that means this one is our last one. Push up. Whew, let's hang on to it for a second. And ah, down. Awesome job, you guys. Whew, we survived the strength portion, which means we're going to do a little bit more cardio. We're going to do that cardio hit section one more time, which means that my timer is still set for 20 seconds of work and just 10 seconds of rest. Nice and quick. Here we go with rainbow jacks. So hands up overhead. Oh, that feels like a nice stretch now, doesn't it? Except that we're getting that heart rate up even higher after all that tough strength work. This is a nicely balanced workout today. And man, we are getting it done fast. When it beeps, we're going to get it 10 seconds of rest. It just doesn't take ha, a long time to get a great workout. Coming up next is toy soldiers. And I tell you what, if you do like a little bit more to do, I've got my hands up, I'm ready for these toy soldiers. In a couple of seconds here, on screen, you're gonna have a couple of different choices. If you've got the time and the inclination for a little bit more of a workout, I've got a great suggested stacker for you on one side of the screen. Now, if this was all the time you had, all the effort you had and you'd like to be done, well, my friend, 10 seconds of rest. You can be done with this one, but you're not quite finished. On the other side of the screen, I'm going to have a finisher for you. Coming up next is those reach across, reaching across your body to the opposite side, pulling in that core nice and fast. And down on the bottom of the screen, you'll also see a couple of options. There's a place to go over to patreon.com where my friends Gretchen and Terry both made really generous monthly pledges that helps me make free free workouts for all of us. And thank you so much, 10 seconds of rest, if you do consider donating there. On the other side of the screen, there's a picture of my face, and that's a place where you can subscribe here on YouTube so that you can always get my latest workouts. Coming up next is windmills. Hands are wide, feet are wide. Reaching up, reaching down across your body. Whoo, engaging those glutes, engaging those abs. Awesome job, you guys. Not too many more exercises left in our car cardio hit circuit. Man, I got my heart rate up. I got my body strong. I'm feeling really good about this one. This is 10 seconds of rest and coming up next is rope climbers. Weirdly, one of my favorite seated exercises. And I say weirdly because honestly, climbing a rope, I had to do it a couple of times in gym class when I was younger. And it was hands down the least favorite thing I ever attempted doing. <laughs> but I do enjoy it from a seated position when we're just pretending. When it beeps again, we're going to get 10 seconds of rest. Ah, and my friends, our very last exercise for this workout is going to be double knees. We're going to have our hands up, reaching down towards our knee two times on one side, boom, and boom, and two times on the other. You guys, the next time it beeps is the last time it's going to beep in this workout. So it's time to make that choice. I bet you see those options on screen now. Who giving it the best you got to finish this out. Great. Ha, ah, great job. I'm super, super proud of you. Thank you so much for working out with me. Be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.